What's up YouTube? Welcome back to MMO's World. We're bringing you another recap of all the major MMO news that happened throughout the week. So sit back and soak it in. We're starting the news this week with Anthem. And for those of you who are EA Origin Premier subscribers, you can already play this online RPG looter shooter because it launched its early access today, February 15th, Friday for all of you that are paying the subscription, so go in and have fun. And to celebrate this, earlier this week, EA and BioWare teamed up with Hollywood sci-fi director Neil Blomkamp to release a short live-action teaser film, which you can watch on the official Anthem YouTube channel. Moving on now, Monster Hunter World released some exciting new content this week because they have teamed up with The Witcher himself, Geralt of Rivia. The crossover content revolves around a new original questline available to all Monster Hunter World players who have reached rank 16 or above. And it starts with the contract, Trouble in the Ancient Forest, which tasks The Witcher with tracking down and dealing with a powerful force known as the Lashen. Beginning today, the most adept Monster Hunters, who are rank 50 or above, will additionally be able to put their skills to the test in an extremely challenging multiplayer event which will pit them against a much deadlier form of the Lashen. So with no surprises here, players can earn unique rewards, Witcher-themed special items which includes Gerald's armor and weapon set, and you can also get stuff for other characters and companions in the Witcher franchise. The update will be available for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but will be coming to the PC at a much later date. Up next, Prolibus and Kakao Games have released some brand new content for Black Desert Online since Wednesday this week. The beautiful world of BDO is being troubled by mysterious dark rifts that appears randomly across the world. And out of these rifts come powerful boss monsters that have been consumed by the elusive black spirit. Players can challenge these monsters individually and can receive wonderful rewards. For successfully defeating them. Additionally, Bartley's adventure log has been added to the game and this new feature presents players with new quests, challenges, and things to do in the world of BDO available from level 51 and above. Elsewhere, Ubisoft has announced that following a very successful private beta for Tom Clancy's The Division 2, they will now release an open beta free for everyone which begins on March the 1st until March the 4th on the Xbox One, Xbox One X, PlayStation 4, and on PC. The full game itself will release worldwide on the 15th of March. But if you're still on the fence about pre-ordering the Division 2 or if you're wondering what's all the new stuff, what's changed from the first Division, then I highly suggest jumping into this open beta 1st of March to see for yourself. And finally this week, CCP Games has some great news for EVE Online players, the sci-fi MMO spaceship game that's been around for quite some time. And that is the return of the Guardians Gala event this week, where players can face off against some fearsome pirates of New Eden and earn exclusive rewards in the process. The New Eden store will exclusively offer a variety of rewards, including a new line of spirit skins for additional hulls, agency combat boosters, facial augmentations, and much more. CCP Games also announced the introduction of CC Please, a high-level visual roadmap that will provide players with an accessible overview focusing exclusively on upcoming quality of life fixes, optimizations, and improvements to EVE Online. As for the Guardians Gala Pirate Party, it runs from, again, February 12th to the 25th and can be accessed in-game via the agency. And that wraps up our MMO News Recap for the week. For more MMO news as it happens, head on over to our website at MMOsWorld.com. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. As ever, I'm Adrian from MMOsWorld, signing out.